The entire world is remembering Nelson Mandela, a true icon, one of the last great men, say some. But it's obviously in South Africa where emotions are running the highest and where they express themselves in a special way. We have a correspondent in Johannesburg, Francois Chignac. Francois, if you had to describe just one thing since arriving, what would it be? The overriding image here is one of communion. The country is certainly in mourning, but it's a joyful wake. We see the people in the streets are not sad, but are sharing their experiences, talking, dancing, singing, and raising their eyes and arms to the skies. Everyone's photographing everyone else, and there's lots of hugging. That's why I say it's a communion. I saw it just a few hours ago in the crowd outside Mandela's last house in Houghton. Police put up barriers to stop cars getting too close, and those barriers are now covered with flowers. People are setting up altars, lighting candles, leaving messages, singing and dancing. Their final respects. Et grilles sont pleines de fleurs. Les personnes érigent des hôtels. Elles mettent des bougies autour de, de, des hôtels. Elles laissent des messages. Les personnes chantent, dansent. C'est un dernier hommage que l'on rend à Nelson Mandela. François, you've spoken to lots of people in the street. Do they and you believe there's going to be a before and after Nelson Mandela period for South Africa? What heritage will Mandela leave behind for the nation? Will the country now slide into chaos? It shouldn't be forgotten this is no paradise. Youth unemployment is at 25% and at least one person's told me the ruling ANC party is bitterly criticised. And in 2014 the country faces an election and a new generation, a generation that knows nothing. Nothing of apartheid will vote, and it doesn't look likely it will vote for the ANC. So what will a post-Mandela nation look like? Is there another man or woman ready to pick up his torch? Nothing is more uncertain here, and everyone is asking the question and starting to worry. South Africa faces a number of challenges, not least the war on poverty. Are we, in fact, in the most unequal country in the world? Can the Mandela spirit change that? You're right to underline the inequalities, Laurence. They exist between black and white and equally between the young and the rest of the population and between immigrants and the rest of the country. In 2008, remember, the country slumped into chaos with important outbreaks of violence against immigrants fleeing Zimbabwe or Congo. These were victims of violence, and that's what everyone fears here, that the death of Mandela and the passing of his time heralds a descent into chaos. Chaos for South Africa. Tout le monde craint ici. Est-ce que la mort de Nelson Mandela, est-ce que la fin de Nelson Mandela, est-ce que l'après Nelson Mandela ne pourrait pas plonger le pays dans le chaos François Chignac, merci. Je rappelle que vous êtes notre envoyé spécial en ce moment à Johannesburg, en Afrique du Sud. À bientôt, on vous retrouve bientôt sur Euronews. Merci. Je vous remercie, Laurence.